So now that we looked at the theoretical and historical reason as to why the young family did not have a secret Satan form that is fast, energetic, and explosive, <clears throat> now let's look at some practical examples. I know that there's a lot of different people out there that claim they have a secret young style form that is like fast, combat ready, and you know, with like strong fire gene. Uh, I'm gonna today look at a specific one of them because the person that asked me to make this video, you know, asked me to talk about this one specific video <coughs> that he linked me. So here is what this video looks like. <laughs> There's a lot of issues right, with this entire fast young style form. I'm going to take two points to illustrate why this is probably not authentic. So firstly, is the way he handles single word. Now again, I'm not trying to discredit his entire 
Taiji learning just legitimacy. I'm purely commenting on this one specific fork, right? I don't know this guy, I don't know what, what, what other background and other stuff he, he does might be great, but this particular form, there's problems. The first is the way that single work. So he comes here, he slowly, 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 and then and suddenly extends the arm. So that is a red flag for me. And the reason for that is because, well, I've made a video in the past talking about you know, the Newton's third law, right? When there's an action, there's a reaction. If you're hitting something, something hitting you as well. So if my whole body is stationary, and then only my arm is here, and I'm only hitting him extendedly right at the last second, what that means is I'm actually putting a lot of stress on my wrist. Especially if the person is substantially weighted, right? If he's like a little kid, I'm just pushing and he will fall, fall over. But if he is stronger, you know, having substantial amount of body weight, then I'm actually gonna risk injuring my wrist and my forearm because I'm where everything else is kind of not behind this attack. I'm just here and then suddenly try to hit somebody like that. Another problem with this obviously there's not a lot of power behind it. No matter how you put it, you're not utilizing your entire body weight, you're only you know, accelerating the last bit of your arm, you're not going to create a lot of power. And thirdly, this doesn't exactly fit the application of single wood. I'm going to make a separate video specifically talking about the application of single wood, so I'm not going to talk about that here. Just, just know that this kind of power generation, it doesn't make sense. This will only be done by people who has no active combat experience, right? people who've never actually went into a fight and tried to hit somebody like that. Only they will think this will demonstrate a combat type of, of Taiji power chain generation. In actuality, if you look at the form, right, this, this hand is always kind of reserved, it's not extended. The reason for that is because what, they are, what we actually want is the body to project power through the hand. So instead of trying to project the hand, I'm actually going to just put my hand here and use the body. And over here is, it is relatively soft. So you know, assuming this is a, you know, a muscular guy who has like chest muscles that can, can, can tank a hit, right? So yeah, I've got chest muscles as well, what the hell? Sure you do. <laughs> so in, the, in that video, right, what, what he does is essentially something like this. He will extend, 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 and he will, and he will hit here. Which while there are some kinetic forces that, that you know, propel him backwards, it will be absorbed by, by, by the path. So what we want in Tai Chi is actually the hand lightly put here and then use the body to ram it. Right? What's the difference between these two? Yeah, it feels a lot more uh, uh, a, a, a lot more uh, 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 effect um, past the path. Passing the path. Yeah, passing the and in the second attempt, my hand doesn't really propel that much. I'm putting it here and I'm using the body to, to to generate that force in. This is just the medium, rather than staying here, staying here, and then hitting out like that. And if I were to, to do the second one within a form, it'll just, you might do it fast, right? It'll still just look like this. There's not gonna be a, a, a power generation because there is no power generation on the arm. The power comes on the body, and the body is, is just, it's just there. Which is why, you know, the type of power in Xing is called an jin, or hidden force. So you can't really visibly see it. And that's the type of power that single word uses, which is why anyone who does a powerful single word, I automatically would assume they made that up without the understanding of how actual combat works. They just assume if they do something fast and explosive, that must represent combat Tai Chi. So that's the first red flag for me. And even if you look at you know, the chain style, and I'm not saying that the second chain form you know, is what influenced, what, or is, is what actually became the young style fast form. Because again, there is no young style fast form in my opinion. But if you look at the, 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 the chain second fast form, with a single work, they still kind of do it relatively slow. They don't have this, you know, <coughs> they don't do, do that, at least the authentic ones don't. Which you, can, which you can tell that even in their fast form, this isn't a strike, which is, a, a strike like you know that video, which is why the hand doesn't have to accelerate. Now, of course, in Chen style, 
everyone have different opinion on what shingle wood is used for. It's a huge can of work. I'm not gonna go into detail there. The point is, even if you look at the practice of, of yang, they still don't demonstrate a very explosive arm propulsion in single wood, which also further supports how this is probably made up either by this person or his master, but it's definitely not an authentic take on single wood. The next point I'm gonna talk about here is how he is on one stance and doing multiple moves with his hand. Now when he did this, it was back facing the camera. I can't really see exactly what he does, but I assume it's you know it's, it's this Tai Chi move, right? I'm not too sure, but it looks like something and then going up to here. The problem with this is again, it just shows a person who doesn't actually understand combat but it's attempting to make his form look more combat orientated. The reason I say that is because firstly, when he's doing those movements very fast, he's not involving the body, which means these are just all movement, and that inherently makes them weak. And in Tai Chi, when you turn martial in general, the idea is always to incorporate the body, not always in a literal way, like I'm not trying to ram somebody with my body, but the body has to always be behind every move. And there's always had to be a shift of, of balance and weight. If my weight is not shifting, I'm just doing moves, that makes that power only coming from my arm, which is very limited. But what I want to do is, for example, even if I'm just doing this one, right? Instead of doing that, I want to use the body. And to use the body, I have to draw back and then come forward. What about if you look at Tai Chi, right? The slow version. You don't see any move where the guy does not shift his balance, he's just standing here and doing move. Right? This, I talked about this in the past, this is a big differentiation between southern styles and, and internal styles. Like in the south, they will take one step and then they will do, do multiple moves and then they'll take another step and then they'll do multiple moves. But in internal martial arts, you take one step, you shift your balance, you do one move. You shift your balance, you do another move. You shift your balance, you do a third move. Every move or a strike it's, a, it's accommodated with one step and one shift of balance, right? This is basically because of the rebound force, which I talked about in previous videos. The one, the moving of weight, dropping of weight, rebound force to help them with any strike that they're doing. And the only way to do that is to have one step per strike. You can't take one step and do not even move. When you do that, you only move your arm, which is much weaker. And all you, have, all you get in return are speed, right? You can be faster when you do this. But if you look at the Tai Chi Classic, the text, it clearly says that um, speed is not the point of Tai Chi, right? It talks about how other martial arts is all about faster beating slower, stronger beating weaker, younger beating older. But in Tai Chi, that's not how things work. Obviously, that doesn't mean that you can be slow and still wanna fight, it just means that it's not about pure speed. It's about relative speed. In other words, how I'm able to be fast in a smart way, which I'll talk about in other videos. But the point here is that what he's demonstrated here does not fit the type of classic and does not fit the general mechanic of internal martial art. Which is why, in my opinion, that whole form is definitely not authentic, but a personal re-envision of what combat young style Tai Chi would look like. And due to his lack of actual combat experience, you know, his reimagining of it is basically not correct. Okay, now after considering both the theoretical, historical, as well as the practical side of what I don't believe there was ever a young family fast form, I think this matter can be pulled to rest with a pretty good amount of certainty. And if you have any alternative opinions or evidence that you think I should consider, you're welcome to leave them under the comment section. And if it actually holds some water, I'll definitely you know, look into it and then maybe you know, talk about it. Either with you in discussion or I'll make another video about it. But currently, this is my understanding on this topic. And I have hope that you find this video interesting. And if you do, do you subscribe on my YouTube channel. And if you can support me on Patreon, that would be greatly appreciated. I have a whole range of Patreon exclusive videos where I explain as in-depth mechanics through a scientific manner on how internal martial arts works, especially currently where I'm going through Yi Quan as well as Wu Xing Tong Bei. 
And in the near future, I'll be also talking about something about Tai Chi, which is coming up really soon. So definitely worthwhile to you know consider that if you are interested in understanding internal martial art from a scientific perspective. And as always, a big shout out to all my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much for your support over the years. Um, and as always, got any questions on current content or suggestions for future content, always message me and I'll definitely get back to you and possibly make exclusive videos to help you understand the questions that you have. So thanks everyone for watching Tristan's martial channel and I'll see you next time.